Well, let's return now to a historic day in Connacht. Sligo were champions after 32 years. On the bus home with the winning county tonight was Marty Morrissey. The Garavogue River here in Sligo is overflowing, uh, not with tears of uh, pain, but indeed with tears of joy. After 32 years, Sligo are once again Connacht champions. And let's just reflect, because the man beside me is the winning captain of the team in 1975, Barnes Murphy. What does this mean to you today? This means everything, Marty. It was just an unbelievable day from Sligo. 32 years since we won a Connacht final before. The lads today have played their heart out. The beat Everyone thought a great Galway team. Sligo dominated the game for all the way through and it means so much. I'm delighted for John King, Tom Brainy and all the lads. It's just absolutely brilliant. And I hand over to a new captain, Noel Maguire, from now on. <laughs> well, well done, Barnes Murphy. And already the celebrations have started and earlier we joined the team on the bus. It's, it's fantastic. It, uh, it justifies all the time we've put into it. Uh, it, 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 just, it just makes it all worthwhile. And I mean, you've, you've seen the crack in the bus here, Marty. We're all singing songs. We're about to cross the border back into Sligo now, and it's just, uh, it's just unbelievable. At the edge of Charlestown in County Mayo is Balahi. It's the first village in County Sligo as you cross the border. An emotional moment for players and fans as the Nestor Cup was brought home for the first time since 1975. Uh, a lot of men, in fairness, over the years have put a lot of work in, and I'm delighted to be part of the senior team in Sligo to take this over the board. So, uh, it's a great day today, in fairness. Adrian, uh, did you always think you were going to do it? Oh, we did. If, if I said we were up at half time, we were going to win it, and we just we performed in the second half, and it's great for Sligo, so it is. Noel Maguire, captain of this uh, winning Connacht Championship side. I mean, you've, you've broken the hoodoo 32 years. Yeah, like 32 years is a long time. It, it should never have came to this. 32 years is too long. And um, you know, I'm just it's a huge honour for me to to be you know representing this like this great Sligo team. As, as the bonfires blazed along the road as the cavalcade headed to Tupper Curry. Thousands waited in the rain, but they didn't seem to mind once the team arrived. You know, Galway fought hard, and and with the last free they got there, we thought it was you know kind of going to be a draw, but we, it would have been stolen from us though. Yeah, it would have been stolen. Been. Yeah. We were Today was our day. Yeah. Come on, it's anticipated that the bus carrying the newly crowned Connacht champions from Sligo will arrive in here into their hometown around 12 midnight. And although it's quiet at the moment, I guarantee you the party has started here in Sligo. Might I add my congratulations to Sligo as well, because my, my wife is from Sligo, and I can tell you this, if I hadn't said that, she wouldn't leave me into the day tonight. <coughs> but I remember, lads, 32 years ago, I played in an all semi semi-final against Sligo. It was our last provincial title. And I remember that day in Crow Park, they marched around, and they were waving to the crowd, and you said, their focus was gone, we had them beaten. So can they keep the focus, can they keep the feet on the ground, and do better this time? I think that's a question for another night, Pat. Tonight, tonight's about celebrating, and, and tonight they're allowed they're to... They're on the to, bus, so they're Yeah, they, 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 they <laughs> f thoroughly enjoy it, waiting 32 years, and it's a... It's a beauty, the beauty about sport, there's no one giving them a chance to win that Connacht title this year and you had a group of fellas there along with a very astute manager that came together and they had the belief and they followed, they followed their dreams and it's great for them, it's great to see them winning it tonight. Donegal uh, haven't played well since they won the National League title so there is a danger of celebrating, isn't there? Well, I don't think anyone will be grudging them a yes. couple of nights celebrating, 32 years, they're waiting. I think there's been generations of Sligo people that have, have, haven't experienced a day like today and, you know, it's an opportunity for them now to make the, the, the next step, you know, there's kids that will see that performance today, the pitch was full of children that, you know, and, and adults that never saw, never experienced a day like that, and it's great for them, but now they have to go another step, because there's a quarter-final coming up. Tony, I believe uh, Sligo's victory confirms the theory I always had, that in every county in Ireland, there are 15 senior inter-county footballers as good as in the next, and it's all about belief and commitment to succeed. Is that Absolutely, the and as well as that, I suppose, uh, Tommy Brown, he brought them all together. He's a local guy. Of course, Peter Ford trained them before, brought him up to a new level of professionalism. Dominic Horrigan didn't stay along. And Tommy came in there. There wasn't too many people going to take over that, that time, I'm, you know, but he took over. He's a local guy. He knows all the local politics, brought everyone in together and got him to believe in themselves. They, they never gave up. Their, the way they fought against Ross Common and the way they fought today was fantastic. And it's well-deserved. And it is great to see them, t t teams like uh, Sligo winning provincial titles because it's, it's, it's important for them because that's their goal for the year.
So well deserved and congratulations to Sligo and hopefully he'll look after Marty later on tonight. <laughs>